Hi everyone, thank you very much for joining me today. I'm just doing a really quick tutorial on AmiBroker and how to scan for buy and sell signals using a little bit of uh, basic AmiBroker uh, formula language or AmiBroker AFL and, uh, and also just the, the scan feature in the automatic analysis tool. So if all of that sounds like gibberish right now, by the end of this uh, very quick tutorial, you should have a, a fair idea of how to use it all. Let's just jump straight into it. What we're looking at first is we need to, to do our AmiBroker AFL, like our code. And to do that, we jump into our analysis window up here and formula editor. So really quickly, the code that we want, I've just outlined it at the site at asxmarketwatch.com. Um, if you copy and paste that, or preferably you paste it into Notepad first or type it out yourself, just because sometimes from the website it might pick up a few extra characters or spaces, all that sort of thing, and it might make it a little bit dodgy. Um, but that is that is the code, so if you do type that in, that, that will work. Now if we jump back and paste that in here, happy days, hopefully this will give uh, give us the results we want. If, it, if not, then we we just have to type it out. From here, we've got uh, basically going through the, the AMI Broker AFL, what we're doing is first of all defining two arrays and they're just like objects. So you can pretty much create any object in the AMI Broker universe or it, they call it arrays in, in the language. Um, what we're doing is when AMI Broker sees up high, it will always equal the highest high value of the close of 90 days. And when it sees down high, which is what we're defining, so we define down high, every time it sees that, it will equal the lowest low value of the close of 40 days. So what do you think that means for us? At the moment, it's it's scanning for stocks that are buying on a on a 90 day high or selling on a 40 day low. And, um, and then we just set our buy and sell principles so we buy or like we want the we want the the program to trigger a buy signal when it closes above our up high array and sell when it closes below our down high array so i hope that makes sense um and then this last bit of code is just telling it to only take one signal not take every signal <laughs> so basically that's that's where it is at the moment from here we go tools and send to auto analysis now once we've got this up and running as you can see it's got a few results already but what we'll do is um we'll work from left to right we want to apply it to so if we use filter as we've got here we go group zero, and then it, you can select from your watch list. So hopefully you've set up a few watch lists before. If you haven't, I've also got a tutorial on that one. Um, let's go through the top 200 on the ASX, hey? And on that, um, down under Australia, obviously, if you can't tell, click on OK, happy days. And then what we want to do is actually go uh, our range. We want it to be from the last, you know, X amount of days. So if you're looking for signals from the last week, then we'd go, say, the last five trading days or the last seven days. Um, we don't really want to do it from a range um, because then we're just going to get too many signals. It's not going to give us the latest signals, which is what we really want. And ideally, you'd be sort of doing this scan every day. So you'd be do using the last two days or one day just so you get the very latest signals so that you're up to date with it. Just for this, for the purposes of this video, I think I'll use the last five days just to see what we come up with. And once we've got that, we just really quickly click on settings Make sure we're set to periodicity daily and report we want it to be on trade list. Apart from that, everything should be pretty sweet. Now, once we have that all set up, all we have to do is go scan the market and AMI Broker will work its magic on the rest of it. And what it's going to do is search for buy and sell signals according to those rules that we set up. And obviously, you could set up any rules that you wanted. It's a, you know, this is the beauty of AMI Broker. You get to test a whole bunch of stuff very, very simply. Um, now, as you can see, in the whole ASX Top 200 this last week, there were no buy signals. Uh, and in fact, there were only three sell signals, so not a lot of action going on, uh, not a lot of movement in those whole 200 stocks at the moment. All we have to do, and again, just a, this is a really quick tool. If we click on, if we right click on these uh, tickers that come up, and if we tell it to show arrows for actual trades, this will show us our buy and sell arrows, which is really, really cool. I'll jump into that in a second, and if we double click on it, it'll bring up the chart which is what we want. Now, I've already got these displayed, but if you haven't got these arrows displayed, right click on your chart, 
go parameters, axes and grid, just on the right hand side here, and we want it to, maybe it's down here, here we go, show trading arrows, and we just click that to yes, and then that will show you your trading arrows there as well. So as you can see, you know, it's, a, it's I mean, it's it's not the perfect trading system, and I probably wouldn't recommend trading this one, <laughs> but but it gives you an idea of, um, oh, you know, well, it's had a few good trades. <laughs> what the heck? Um, but it's just great, isn't it? Because you can see your, you can actually see where it would have entered, where it would have uh, exited the trades as well, um, you know, if, if it would suit your trading personality. And the very last one, of course, um, is our sell signal on the last day trading day of the week so far. So that's that's a really quick rundown on finding um, or scanning for current buy and sell signals according to whatever rules you like. Um, and we can get into more rules and more rule based Emmy Broker AFL later on in these tutorials as well. Um, but yeah, so put in your own rules and have a blast and see if you can find buy and sell signals and see how well they work. If you've back-tested the rules and you find that they work for you, then happy days. Apart from that, I hope that has helped in some small way, guys. Have a great week and happy trending until next time. Bye for now.